The only time they're doing that is during the nectar flow. Of course, what we got right here. Although this is shiny and runny looking, that's probably fresh. This is some of the old crystallized honey. This is the honey they wintered with, and the reason it looks like it's got those swirlies in it is because these bees spent all winter walking on these caps. It's dark now because their pressure, their weight, walked that white cap into the cell. That is all brand new brood. Cora, you ready to give me a little helping hand this morning? All right. We're gonna do this first one up here. You can call it number one, you can call it the first one, we can call it number two, you're gonna control the smoker. Good morning, folks. Uh, got my buddy Cora with me out here this morning. We're gonna, we're gonna do a quick recap of some of the things that we've shown you. So on this stand, we have a split hive. Next to it, we have a donor hive. Next to that, we had a donor hive. And when I'm talking about donor, these were the ones that were split to make more bees. You'll notice this one has got two honey supers on it. And you can see if, if, if the awesome video guy can get where he can see into the throat of that, piles of bees, okay? This one, uh, I use a terminology that may or may not be correct. This one went textbook. Um, split, requeened, started making, producing honey. This one was one of the ones that you saw hanging in the tree when I came home. Not that it didn't go well. We got a split off of them. We made more bees. Then the donor hive turned around and split, whether I missed a cell, double queen there's there's lots of things that we won't go into as to why it happened the point is it did happen um was not controlled uh they swarmed knocked their numbers way down i pulled excess space off of them so that puts this particular box somewhere around a a two and a half to two week um requeen I want to think I have a queen back. We're going to find out. Um, if not, then that puts me to purchasing a queen, moving eggs, um, or we may get in here and find a cell. I, I don't know. We're, you're going to see it just like I am. So backing up, swarmed donor hive, donor hive that went exactly the way I planned it. And this is a split from the donor hive. So we're just going to give you looks into these boxes and this will take you back to pre-split, split, and give you a little insight into queening, requeening, swarming um, without a whole lot of detail in it. I, I'm going to try to hit my thought process with you as opposed to what I'm seeing what you're seeing on the video. So let's roll that beautiful bee footage. Thank you, ma'am. You wanna give them a little reach up here and reach here. No, you're fine with the smoke. I'll, I'll run it. You wanna take the lid off or run the smoke? Now rock it. Okay. And just set it down between the hives upside down. Okay, you got your hive tool? Uh, you want to do the work or you want me to? I will. 
get under it. Okay. Okay. Now, flip it up so that you can see how many bees you got when you put your lid down. That way you're not smashing anybody. Okay. Just slide it off to the front. Right down to the ground. Slide it right down to the ground. Perfect. Okay. We're going to install your frame perch. I'm going to say it's cool enough this morning that what we're seeing is very few bees up here that can change. I bet they're all tightened up in the bottom. They're not really out and active yet this morning. Jason and I showed you, I believe it was the day after Easter, installing medium supers on the splits. So we checkerboarded. I can tell, of course, if you want to break this frame loose, now you can use your, your J-hook. Okay, go to the other end. Nope, in between the ears, yep. Okay, now just get a hold of both sides and ease it up out of there. Okay, so what the bees have done is they've, they've pulled up to one of the combed frames. Jason, am I getting remotely? Okay, you may have to step where you're shooting in this way. You can see the, the liquid. Can you get that? A little bit. Okay. I can get it in the sun. Okay, so they've come up, and what they're, what they're bringing up is the nectar to put in the already drawn comb. We've had some horrible weather for bees and nothing we can do about it, but it's how it works. Um, I can tell that, they, so they pulled up to this comb and they're going to start their nectar right there. There's not a lot going on. Um, if it were noon, this would be a totally different deal. You can see the sheen of comb being built. If I get that cast down the side, that's the beginning of the comb on the foundation. This was just foundation. Um, so they are getting enough nectar that they're working a little. Like I said, it's cool this morning. A lot of bees are home. You want to grab your inner cover? Yep. Good job. Okay, you take my frame perch and I'm going to pull that box for you. And we're going to take a look at the bottom. Okay, now look at that. You want to grab your smoker. Now what is this doing for the bees? That queen excluder is keeping her, that's a good question. That queen excluder is keeping her down so that she didn't immediately run up and put eggs in that super that already had some comb drawn before they got anything filled in it. Okay? So you don't want eggs in the first box? That's right. We don't. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. There's a lot of people who will run it differently. So to each their own. Let's just pull a frame or two from the side and have a look. These bees are comfortably nestled in. I see that we do want to make a move here with a with a frame. I see that they have worked on it. They've been working it. Oh yeah. You can see the you see the fresh drawn comb that started off of the foundation. Well, she's found her a little little bit of nectar there. She's eating. 
you want to hit them with just a little smoke they're perfectly fine but we don't want them much we just want them to know we're perfect okay okay so see what we got going here combing yep they're waxing building a lot of comb right there that's all fresh stuff we haven't had a feeder on them in about well about two weeks actually but what we are going to do since we've got good comb on both sides and they're working right there we're going to do the old switcheroonie on them and give them this frame here okay you help me remember that let's look at one more and we'll call this one a success okay they've been they're about where they are to be compared to the weather that we've had my goodness they've been locked into these boxes the cold and the storm four days ago 27 degrees Nope, that's an old grown. That's not her either, right? Nope, that's a drone. <laughs> See him doing the There's wiggle. a waggle dance. We haven't seen She's probably yet. saying something like, I wish they'd put this back. Mm -hmm. So is she on this frame? Well, I haven't seen her. That'd be a good suspect spot with that wiggling going on. No. Now, you you want to see one more time or you want to call that one good and we'll move on? Let's look at one more. One more. All right, of course, there's one more, one more. Sure does. Putting it in here around that brood. Well, looky there. There's mama. Look right on the top of the front. You got her now. There's mama. Our overwintered girl, looking good, slicked out, laying like a banshee. Why doesn't she have that much yellow? Well, she's just a darker queen. I, I, her, her genetics passed by these drones. You noticed you, you pointed at a drone here and a drone there. And you know how those drones, none of those drones are the same color, were they? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, the same with her. Her parents set her genetics just like your parents set your genetics, okay? I got brown hair. You got red hair. Beautiful red hair. She wasn't lucky enough to get beautiful red hair. She got black. And that's okay. Because she's, she's still a beautiful queen. Okay. We know what's going on there. Looks like a successful split. She's building up. Going to be a lot of bees come off. Since this box has the largest collection of bees and mass, we're going to go to the other end and we're going to find out if we requeened, okay, after the swarm. When we open that big hive, they, we're, going to put, we're going to put our brick up here straight with the entrance 
to to me I'm signifying that this box is queen right okay you got your you got your smokers if you'll just set your blocks behind you you want to smoke me do the work you can smoke. okay ready? I'm ready if you are rock it a little now reach up hand up there right here and rock push there you go Okay. Okay, make sure you don't have a frame stuck. You don't. All right. Just set it around front and lean it up against them. The front of their hive. Okay, what do we see here? Now remember, this one has swarmed, okay? We're hoping, we're hoping to find a queen in the bottom. Or a queen. Well, we don't want one in the top. We've got an excluder on. If she's in the top, we can fix that. And just put her on the bottom? Mm-hmm. the whole frame that she was on? Or nope, we just we'll just her? catch her and move her down. Okay, so what, what do we see? There's some, is that honey? Or That's pollen. I see a little glistening. Now here's some capped honey that was in there over winter. Mm -hmm. You gotta remember when these bees swarmed, they carried off a lot of this. Hope there's some. Yep. A lot of honey. Capped, I'm gonna say that this is pollen. I see the nectar shining over top of this fresh, and they're putting back, okay? Rather than using, we're going the other way. We're putting back. That's good. I'd like this population to be a little stronger for their, before they get their honey super, but the flow has started here in Arkansas. Blackberries got set back a little bit, maybe because of the frost. Not a problem. The what? Blueberries have bloomed. They're in good shape. Let's just take a look and see if we've got a queen. A queen back after the swarm. That's what we'd really like to know. Do you want me yep, give them a little smoke. Okay. Make sure she's not on your excluder. See anything? Okay. Now let's just prop it up out here. Give that another good look. And if you've got your smoke, let's, let's give a little smoke. I see a high concentration of bees this morning in one area. So. You've got, you've got this concentration of bees. I really want that to be where she's at. So that's gonna be our suspect frames. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start from, from over here. When we split these bees, as usual, I didn't have my pen with me, but I marked the frame, I cut an X on top of it. Well, all that means is, is we know we have split them. We're hoping after they swarmed, after the split, that they requeen. Right? That's what we're doing. We're checking for a queen. Can I get this frame out? You sure can. Pull that one up. And place it on the frame perch. Give it a good look. Not a lot going on on it. Remember, we lost a, a huge population during the swarm. I don't identify anything as a queen, do you? What are they doing? Hmm? What are they doing? Well, they're just looking, cleaning, wondering what's happening. 
maybe looking for a little bite of honey to to have while this is going on. Straight up carefully. What do you see? Is that the, that's not the queen. Nope. Right? Nope. Drones. Mm -hmm. Pollen. And workers. Okay. We'll Check your back call. side of your frame. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Set them on the rack. You want me to move this? Okay. We're getting into some a little dab of population. We're not going to set any more out. We've got room to work. So if you want to handle frames, that's perfectly fine. Is that a queen cell? That is queen cells. Two of them. So if no. the... Okay, now wait. They're queen cups. They're not developed cells. They're open. They're open on the bottom. And I don't see anything in them. So that's not necessarily a, oh no, we're going to swarm again. Oh no, they didn't requeen. We're still in good shape. Do you see a queen? She could be small. She could be back and plumped up. Can I take your yes. frame just for a minute? Get it in some sunlight. Mm-hmm. Is that her? No. Nope. Is it a new queen or an old queen? Well, if there if we find one, she's a new one. I think she might be on this next one. You think? Mm -hmm. I hope you're right. She's on the middle too. Again. We're going to go back in order. Just like the way you did your nucleus, we're going to put their frames back just like they had them. Okay, if you'll hand me your smoker. They're getting a, they're getting a little loud. They're not obnoxious yet, but Okay. Woo, look at here. I see cap brood, Cora. Look at that. Do you want to take it? We have requeened. Here. You want me to take yes. it? It's heavy. Oh, it is heavy. What happened there where it's coming up? I see capped. Brood. Remember, they cap in nine to ten days. That's great. So after the swarm, we got a queen back. And she immediately got to land, which means she got out during some of that pretty weather and got uh, mated, mated before, before the cold. That's, that's great. That's, as a beekeeper, that's great because, number one, I really didn't want them to swarm, but, it, but they did. But the great thing is, just like in nature, it did exactly what it should have. We got a... Got a mated queen back. Slow, slow. Okay, you can tell there's not a tremendous. She's laid up one frame. And oh, is that her? Where are you looking? I can't. You're in, you're in the shadow. Nope. That's a drone. Nope. Let me get to the sunny side here. They look the same. Well, kind of. I've got a bad glare on my veil. Thank you. All right, there's there's my larvas down there that have not capped. And I, I see, I think I'm pretty certain I can see eggs. Alright, what do you think? We only got really two more populated frames. You want to take a look? 
And I kind of thought you did. I have to say I, I want to too. Let's see what color this queen is. Can I pop it? Can I pop it? You want to pop it loose or you want to pull it out? I'm going to pop it. Okay. Oh. Yep, loaded with pollen. She's wondering what's going on. How come she could just fly right in, huh? Stick it on down in there. There you go. Man, you're good help. You know, you know what I see? The queen? There's mama. Where? All right, step to my left and look right there. Oh, right. You know what? She resembles the one next door, doesn't she? Yep. Look at her. She has a little more yellow there. She's in here. In here continuing the layup. That's one of those gold drones. What do you think about that queen? She's a lot lighter than that other one, isn't she? She is. Pretty girl. She's still not quite as swole up and plump as a as that first one we looked at, but I sure am proud to see her in here. She's pretty big too. She hadn't been at it long. She had a full frame and about a quarter. And she's in here working, so let's let her be. She's still pretty big though. She is, she's pretty. Pretty pretty fresh queen. Okay. So All right. Back. Donor split, donor swarmed, donor requeened. Check. Now, obviously, this box is going to be set behind now for honey production. That does not mean that they won't produce me a little honey, but what it, what it does mean is they're still in plenty of time to produce enough for them to winter. And sometimes I am, just so I don't crush bees. Sometimes them wintering is more important than me, me getting honey off of them. Okay, yep, let's go for it. Let's see what we got. All I really want to do with this big one we're gonna we're gonna show you what's going on in the honey supers. We're gonna take a look at that. We're going to put that frame back. Expect that this one's doing the same thing. We're gonna take break two off, set it off on the lid. We're gonna break the mid off, cross stack it on the inner cover pile. Pull a queen excluder. All we want to see is brood. This one should have loads of brood, cap brood in the bottom. If we get lucky and see her, great. If not, not a problem. Um, going into these big colonies after they're requeened and, and producing honey, I don't like to break that network any more than I have to, but we've had a lot of comments. We, we do our our due diligence to get back and either show you or answer you. This is what we're doing. We just want to we just want to see that it's doing what it should be doing at this phase. This was a donor. We've taken a split. They have not swarmed. They are producing honey. Let's have a look. Okay, you're going to set your cover here. Look at this. Now look here. Cora, what we got right here? Uh, what is that? That is a, I guess a blue racer. Does it eat the bees? I don't think he does, but... <laughs> I didn't see him grab one when he went by. <laughs> you never know what's going to be in a beehive. It's not always just bees. Can I help you? All right. I got it. Don't be surprised that we were in there. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. How do you get in there? 
see this. Well, he crawled up in under the lid, worked his way around and come in right there, I guess. Or he was right here and run up on it. I don't know, I'm not sure. Jason may have caught the whole thing, I, I don't know. I'm just like these bees, I kinda like, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I know we got a lot more bees working the honey super. And it's hard to, to look through down because you can't. It's just masses of bees working from their heaviest over to the outside. Um, here's what I want you to, Cor, can you see, stand where I'm at, looking it down. You see how white that wax is? Yeah. The only time they're doing that is during the nectar flow. These frames were given to them with comb that we had spun the honey from. Okay, remember, and we stored them? Yeah. These bees are coming back. They're filling and they're pulling this fresh layer of wax out here on the top. And the next thing that happens is when that honey's dry, they start that sheet of cappings over the honey. Mm -hmm. So let's just now pull it up, pull a couple up. Uh, let's, let's go, let's make some room. Let's start here. And we'll inspect the honey super. This is almost uh, too tall for you to work on, isn't it? Okay. So is the comb naturally white? Or now, they make it well, white? you got to remember this is last year's honey super frames. See the, the dark area? Oh, is that honey? Yeah, it's pollen? honey. This is honey. That is pollen. A little dab of pollen went in there. But that's honey all the way out here that they've started putting up. And honey is made from nectar. That's it. Okay. We're getting closer to the center where they're working. More honey. Do you think we'll be Closer yet, even more honey. Do you think we'll be able to harvest this one? Oh, you, you bet. We're going to get honey off this one. Break me another one loose, please. We're getting over to the good stuff. This is where it's all going on. I got it right there if you don't want to reach all the way over. Yep, they get a little heavier every time. Those are almost full. More, uh-huh. Okay, now look, here's the starting of the example. Right here, that is a cap of wax, capping's wax that they're putting over that cell, moisture content got right, so they put a cap over it. More honey, I'm seeing that sheen of white wax on the outer edge of that comb, they're drying it. Go one more and we're going to know that we're producing honey. Let me borrow your hive tool because I'm fixing to kill that hive beetle. We don't even want that up there. Okay. All right, now I'm sorry. What did you ask me? Look, uh, are we going to do this? Thing? Nope, because here's everything I want to know. It's capped? That's capped. Is that like old capping? That, no, that is brand new white wax capping. That honey has gotten dry. They have placed a cap over it. This side, they will be doing the same thing shortly. When this, when this nectar flow really gets rolling, <clears throat> they're going to build right on out here. They're going to fill this in. This is going to all fill out. This is all going to be a sheet. Look just like that. Jason, if you will, see the next one. They're starting the same thing. Sheet of cappings over the wax. All right, we're making honey. Well, let's just aggravate them for just a minute. Let's drop down into the box and see that we've got the brood we want to see. Can I borrow your tool? I see a stinking beetle. Another one? So how many beetles do you need to see before you need to get something to get rid of? That's a good question. We've killed two. I haven't seen 
more than two. I'm not concerned right at the moment. We've got a good bee population, but if that can increases, you bet we're gonna we're gonna make something happen. We'll put in some towels, some blasters, lots of lots of ways to go with what we can do. Okay. We're going to drop the two honey supers right here, lid up. We're going to pull the mid, set it on top. We're going to look for brood. When we find brood, we know that everything is still in check and call it good and allow them to continue making honey. They look good here in the mid. These are some pretty ones. Let's see if they're. Let's see if they're uh, working they well. Let me let me help you pick. You got a large mass of bees. Not so much here. Let's pull this one. Okay. Can you get the other end for me? Okay. Thank you. This frame is. Oh, they have some caps. Well, I'm going. I think I'm going to be able to show you the. I think some of this will probably be overwintered that they carried with them. So that's old. Yeah, well, I'm going to show you a little something. Although this is shiny and runny looking that's probably fresh this is some of the old crystallized honey can you tell by the color yeah i can tell by the color it's crystalled under there that's just like a jar of honey that's gone to crystal they can clean it and eat it out because they have it's that's what they're doing now they're clearing it for feed and they're putting back that glistening stuff is nectar here's what i want to show you so that you know this this that really doesn't look like it should be capped because it's not that beautiful white capped clear honey this is the honey they wintered with and the reason it looks like it's got those swirlies in it is because these bees spent all winter walking on these caps it's dark now because their pressure their weight walked that white cap into the cell that darkened that beautiful white wax, okay? So that's how we know that's old. for the most part that this is old and that tip of that old crystallized golden rod. That's new, right? That that's new. correct, that, that real fresh shiny stuff. Okay. So pull, we know we're gonna pull these burrs off. We know that they're replacing in their super what they have Eating spring and winter. Do you want me to take that glob of That'd be great. Got a real good. Is it okay if it drops in the Well, it won't hurt a thing if it does. Good job. Okay. All this is working like it should. Nope, but we're fixing to. Don't, nope, nope. See how they're a little aggravated already about us messing with them? Mm -hmm. We're gonna set this whole super off the excluder and set it right on top here. Okay. That'll keep them calm. Then we're gonna look for signs of queen in the bottom. Now this box is gonna be heavy. It has a lot of honey, has a lot of bees. So all right, why why did we why did we break into this big old massive bunch of bees? To see if there's a queen. To see if there's a queen. Okay. Are you gonna do that? Alright, I'll bet you're good. Go ahead and lean it back up against the just set it out front. Where are you gonna start? Uh on the edge. Okay. Uh, you're gonna start on a kind of relatively clear edge, correct? Okay. 
I don't when you when you break it loose you're doing a great job when you break it loose if they come easy kind of be be careful because when you bring a frame too high on one end it cantilevers the bottom of the frame against the box and can crush bees okay now you want me to lift it yeah here's your smoker Okay, what do you got? Is that eggs or? That is pollen. Some wet pollen shining. And I'd say these bees are cleaning comb. That way they can store? Well, they might put stores, they might put brood. Okay. Now, yep, okay, you're loose. Oh, that's a good move. Okay. I bet the queen's in one of these. Where they're all. Oh, Ooh, I see some shiny, shiny, don't that's you? That color. That's that's just pollen. It's just a different color of pollen. I see drones. I see pollen. I see some liquid nectar. Some wet honey. So they put honey in the bottom box too? Oh yeah. But this is for their eating. There's typically, that's right, for feeding those baby bees. Well, let's check another one. We, we hadn't hit any brood yet, so heck, we don't know. There might not be a queen. But you're going to find out. Smooth release on that bee. That was good. Man, you're good help. I can take it from there if you want to call it good. Is that it? Nope. Drone? A fat. A <laughs> fat drone? Yeah. That's a long one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's it's not shocking that we hit hadn't hit brood yet. But I am I have to say I am getting ready to see some. There's some pollen. Yep. Okay, there's an old cup. <laughs> Nothing in it. Oh, I see a lot of waggling. All right, loosen up another one. That's good. Man. Think I could employ you just to help me all the time? Oh, Cora. Looky, looky. That's where we were wanting to be. Oh, why is there... Well, oh. it's okay. They had those laid up whenever they were queenless. And just haven't torn them, tore them down yet. And I've seen hives that that keep them in play. So they'll take care of that. They will take care of that. Is this a new frame or an old frame? It's an old one, but it was left. It was probably one that uh, Jason and I replaced. Can you stand it or do you want to call it good? We have to do it. Now, huh? All right, I'm going to make a deal with you. One more frame. Because I've seen what I need to see, and I'd rather them be making honey than me trying to look at their mama. It sure is fun, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Your smoker operator's kind of laying down on the job.
Yeah. What happened? I need you to pick it up. I think she might be on that one. You think that's the one? Well, this is your only chance, because if she's not, we're going to button them back up and let them keep making us some honey. Is that old or new? That is all brand new brood. And they've just about stopped producing drone. What, where are those? Are that those? is cap. Those are drone cells. Those big fluffy ones that stick out. Yeah. And that that lays out there flat like a quilt on a bed is worker. So well, now, are all these drones? And I see a lot of drones on there. So are there any worker bees? And if you remember in the video when we split these bees, I said something about CBS. This is the frame that she was raised on and her cell has been chewed down. We're gonna look at this frame she come off of. What did we decide we were gonna do? This frame happened to say CBS on top of it. I, I, I hope I can remember that. We're going to leave this frame. It's, it's my suspect and I can see them down in the cell. I've got eggs, this, this will be my frame that I'm going to come back to in nine days. Wait, go back on the other side. Some larvae right there. That is, that's some drone, drone brood we've, mm -hmm. that they're either fixing to. I'm going to say that we ruptured it when we pulled it out. Put you under that one. Because don't they on the Drone brood. Ooh, See the big old larva down inside the cells that are poking out? Why is it white? Well, it's snow white like that because it's fresh. It's not turned into a bee yet. Okay, Cora, let's, let's uh, button them up. Okay. Call it good. We've got what we want. We have seen really all we need to see. Folks, Cora and I have had a awesome time this morning. Uh, so blessed to have her out here with me helping. Um, you've seen a split with a laying queen. You've seen a donor that requeened producing honey. You've seen a split, I'm sorry, you've seen a donor that ended up swarming after the split is the way I wanted to say that. They're gonna play catch up, but they've got a queen, she's laying, all is good, They'll, but they will make it to a honey super. Two honey supers now, with the bee population that you just saw, they'll get another one probably in a week. This one is probably a week of hard nectar flow away from a honey super, but they're gonna get there. Three boxes, queen right. This one supplied me an extra hive of bees. That one supplied me two. Remember, the split and I caught the swarm. One box has already made me two more hives of bees. It it's, seems a little odd, but it's multiplication by division. I'm not sure where else that works in this, in this world, but it works in beekeeping. We have a great time doing this. We appreciate y'all, and until we get to see you again, roll that beautiful bee footage. All right, Cora, let's pick up these tools and call it a day.